What's going on guys, Nasher here. It is another beautiful day here at Columbus, so I figured I'd go out to the outdoor rink and do a shooting review style video for you guys. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. This is the No Name Hockey brand. It goes for around 80 to 120 bucks, depending on what size you get. This is the Bauer 1X, as you guys all know, and that goes for around 250, 270 bucks when they first came out. So there are huge price differences in these two sticks. I'm gonna take them out here, do a few shooting challenges, We'll do some posts, some crossbars. Um, I also have some paper plates, so we'll be doing some target practice. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what the difference is between these big brands, you know, like Bauer. We all know the NHLers are using that. And then this off brand called No Name Hockey. Let's go on in and see how it goes. All right, so there's a few challenges that I want to do today with these sticks. The first one is going to be a left post, right post, crossbar. So I have to hit each of those uh, for that challenge to be complete. I have a total of eight pucks. I'm hoping we can do it in that. If not, I'll run back, grab some more pucks, and keep on shooting. The second challenge is a crossbar challenge. I'll be taking both sticks and attempting to hit this crossbar with as many of those eight pucks as I can. And the third and final challenge is going to be the four corner shooting target practice. I've got those paper plates, I'll get those set up, and then we will be good to go. Let's hop into the shooting. First stick, no name hockey brand, we'll go on left post, right post, top post. Obviously that went pretty well. It felt pretty good um, coming off the stick. I felt like the shots were nice and hard. But one thing that I did notice is I'm not too much a fan of the flex. It feels a little bit stiff for me. But hey, got the job done. Let's try it here. In terms of shot quality, I think it was very similar. Um, obviously, we got pretty lucky hitting all three posts the first time, but even with the 1X, I mean, still felt good. I think I hit it in five or so. Not sure about that one, but it was pretty close. So we'll move on to the No Name brand and the Crossbar Challenge. Let's go. chase some pucks but we hit three and then we had a couple off the back bar as well I mean it felt good I'm gonna go grab these we'll get to the one after back in my prime I used to be able to hit 10 for 10 with this thing off the crossbar we'll see how it goes now So in terms of the challenge, it is currently one to the no name, a tie on the second event, and then this will be the determining factor. If I lost one of the pucks, I have no idea where it went. So we are gonna use a green biscuit now um, as a replacement. I'm gonna go ahead and 
hop over here, I'll set up the target, and we will be doing the final event, which is the target shooting challenge. The plates are good to go, we're doing fewest amount of shots. We'll start with the no name, and then move to the 1A. Let's go. Sorry, GoPro. So that is eight shots, eight pretty solid shots, even though they all didn't hit. Uh, we're gonna be shooting on this right side now, trying to hit these two targets. That first target hit was nasty. All right, so we hit that. That is 10 total puck, four targets. Not too bad with that no-name stick. I was kind of feeling it. Let's go on to that 1X. All right, time for the 1X. Let's see if we can beat the 10 in four that we did with the no-name. That was disgusting. Those targets were popping. Woo! Oh my goodness. Boys, that was a beauty. Look at the carnage. Okay, so the 1X definitely took this round, but it was very close overall. The No Name brand performed well. It felt good coming off the stick. My, you know, my shots were very similar with both of them. Overall, we've got two very solid twigs, two very different prices. It's gonna be up to you guys on which one you wanna get, but I figured I'd make this little review just to kinda of let you guys know what is out there. All right, so I've had a good amount of time to mess with both of these twigs. I'm not gonna lie, I was planning on coming out here and just tearing it up with the 1X, but the No Name Brand Hockey Stick actually came up pretty clutch and did a very good job comparing to that 1X. So I do wanna give a quick shout out to the guys at No Name Hockey for hooking me up with this twig. I'm not being paid at all to make this video. They were just kind enough to send a stick out. I figured I'd give it a try and kind of compare it to what I'm currently using. And as you guys saw, I mean, it performed pretty well. I'm not gonna say that this stick is better than the 1X. I mean, it definitely has some similarities. I just really like the feel of the 1X in terms of stick handling. Uh, maybe we can do another one of these videos kind of showing off the stick handling differences between them. Uh, but when we're talking about, you know, 250 bucks versus 120 bucks, that's a lot of cash that you could save. So I just want you guys to know what kind of sticks are out there and, you know, what kind of sticks could fit your budget. There's one cool thing about this brand, though, that I saw on their website. You can actually customize it to whatever color you want, and you can also change what you have here so I could put you know Nasher 61 if you want to customize your stick you know that's something cool you can do as well I hope you guys enjoyed this little review slash comparison video between these sticks it was a lot of fun if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time peace